You have the curse of the ordinary. That's what it sounds better like, Greg. <laughs> Hang on a second, Barrington. You can't just say, I went to space and then go off to a hut. Her body shrinks down, becomes a sparrow. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. <laughs> Oh god, Bodger has just gone medieval on her, but you had your opportunity. You notice that behind you, there is standing a brass brazier. Okay, my dreams are now coming into my real life. You okay? <laughs> Plunged into pitch darkness, the floorboards by the door creak as it enters the room towards Stephanie. <sighs> Stephanie. Okay, shut up, I'm having a drink. <laughs> yes, shut up. <laughs> I must get back to Hollywood. You grab the alchemy jug, <coughs> you go down to the, the <laughs> cauldron and look in it. Yeah. Tiny little bits of... Like, Are you greedy motherfucker? Seems, seems, like, <laughs> seems like nothing left in the cauldron for Greg. Lick it, lick it, <laughs> lick it. <laughs> Tell me, uh, who is someone that Greg cares about? <clears throat> uh, the adventurer? We, we didn't have a name for a character, the, the, but for the the adventurer adventure. character. Well, you think yeah. of adventurer? And you currently see her. You currently see her uh, out in the. <laughs> yeah, never been sure. That uh, actually, let me I can come up with something here. She talks about it all You the can time. see her. <laughs> here we go. You can see her on a quest. She's currently slaying a couple of uh, orcs. Yeah. And you can you can recognise behind her the uh, ruins of what was potentially Eastwatch, <gasps> but some of the buildings have collapsed, oh. and there's orcs around. But then <laughs> that's all yeah. you managed to get from it before you're thrust back. Ah. Oh. Should we fun? <laughs> you just had a little taste. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you uh, did the frogs find the pyrolite as well? The the, the the frogs find a pyrolite and one of them hops over and gives you it back. You've got Poppy. You've got okay, Poppy's right. pyrolite back. Awesome. Uh, hey. You are the only one I think who hasn't yet rolled gold, um, but currently are indisposed with mm. something. As the rest of you finish your long. Uh, searching of the uh, the room. Can you roll two percentage check uh, percentage dice for me, please? Seventy nine. Seventy nine. One of the little potholes. You're confident enough that you can touch it. You open it up, and it seems to be a very very fine white powder inside. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're. It's definitely radiating um, uh, some sort of a some sort of a magic. Uh, so you know it's a magic powder of some kind. So you take that. Uh, you have magic white powder. You will be able to uh, identify it late, soon enough. Yep. Actually, yeah, I'll tell you when you identify it. And then one more time. One more time. One more time. Because you've got to detect magic, you can find two items. Nine. Is that is that good or bad? Nine total. What is the zero good or bad? I mean, it's. Zero. Oh, sorry. I just, it's what it is. Oh, no, it's the zero zeros and a nine. Is the yeah. Yeah. Um. You find a potion, you are familiar with them enough to uh, recognize it. It is a potion of greater healing, nice. but it is, in a, it is in a glass bottle that is designed to look like a person in extreme pain. Like, and the, and the, the mouth is the, uh, the top, the stopper of the bottle. Oh, creepy, creepy. I wouldn't drink that. No. No. Um, I would. <laughs> <laughs> then we've got, oh, and then uh, did you ever make a wisdom save? Because you didn't manage to get the, um, the frogs to actually pick up all the things that you wanted no. to look at. Six plus one. Six. Can I roll? A, can I get you to roll a d twenty, please, and see what curse you've picked up? Nice. Eight. Eight. You have got the curse of the itchy feet. And now, can you roll a d six to that determine how that severe really this is? Really annoying. Yeah. If it is just d a d six to determine how severe this Two. particular curse is. Two. Two. You have a moderate version of it. The target cannot stand, stand still and must use some movement in every round of combat. Each five feet of this movement must be into a space not yet occupied by the character this round. And because it's moderate, the character must move at least half their movement speed every round if possible. Eh. Yeah, so you yeah. can, Which is okay you, for you, because you, you're always I moving. move all the time. Yeah. You must use yeah, at least yeah. half your movement speed every round. So if you're you standing next to somebody, you go, oh, crap. yeah, you can't go back and forth. You have to like... But that would mean like, so say you're in one spot and I want to use all my actions and everything to do attacks. Yep. You yeah, would you have, have to, to waste a bit of that to move. Yep. And he would have to move out of melee range. And you have to move it. You can, oh, you can oh, move yeah, like man. around somebody, but if you have to move more than that, you can be like, then you have to move. What is in this bottle? Doesn't look creepy at all. Oh, oh no. Oh no, my feet. Oh no. Oh, the Richie. Oh, no, I haven't been cursed, no. 
Oh, this isn't going to be something that comes back to annoy me every time we do green screen for so long. At least another session. Oh, 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 no. Um, cool. Then you guys finally gather just uh, in time to see Bob finishing off his whatever the hell he's doing with this brass brazier. It's insanity. The fire begins to curl outwards at the sides as though it's been distorted and displaced outwards from the middle. A small, impossibly black void appears at the centre. Seemingly two-dimensional, but it's viewable from all sides as you move. You're not sure how long has passed with you staring into this void at the centre of this fire, but you now realise the void is staring back. Deep within the nothing there is something. An inky black shadow moving towards you slowly. Or maybe it's much larger and moving quickly. It starts stretching out as a rubbery appendage. But before it can reach, a small set of claws come ripping through the flames as though they're tearing the portal depthsways down its non-existent third dimension. And then the flames rush into the void to fill the vacuum left behind as the owner of the little claws comes spilling forth from the brazier and hits the ground. In a tumble, you see a one-foot-tall grotesque humanoid with ratty eyes and small sharp-toothed mouth, long horn horns and arms that sprout asymmetrically from joints partway down his torso, taloned feet and a long serpentine tail. It looks up at you. Let's come back to life! Sorry, we can you, see this as well. You arrive just as this happens. <laughs> Uh, you make a an arcana check. I love that we've just left her behind as well. Kettle stains. Kettle stains. Definitely. Oh man, yeah. rolls recently, real bad. Eight plus one. Sorry. Eight. Eight plus two. Sorry. Two. Uh, this is definitely some kind of fiend from the lower plains. You're not exactly sure what. And I don't understand it. Uh, you, if you're, yeah, you're within range to hear it. Uh, you can tell that it's speaking abyssal, uh, which is one clue to the fact that it's probably a uh, demon rather than and a I, devil. And I don't understand what. It's and saying. you do. Yeah. It says. It says. Uh, <laughs> Finally, a way through. A human master. But he's talking to Bob. Uh, Bob. He think he what thinks up? he's uh, thinks you are his master. You could get something good out of this, buddy boy. This is nothing. But tell, good. tell him. Tell him what to do. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you an abyssal phrase. Okay. Um, abyssal for beginners. Say yes, I am your master. He speaks back in abyssal, you understand it, and he says, I understand you. Oh, all right, my name's Bob. What? What? Chop him in the pocket. <laughs> and you're, you're the one who, who made the hole, the portal. Uh, I was passing and saw it and made my chance. Now I live here. Can you close the okay. portal? The, the, it, it's closed already as this guy tumbled so it's out. Gone. All right. It's now just, uh, it's now just flaming brazier. Right, right, right. Okay. Looks like you've I got think you a have pet. That's familiar now. Yeah. Take um, it. All right. Actually, cool. can you go in that hut and grab me some gold? <laughs> sure. Anything, master. And he just takes off into the hut, and he finds six d ten gold. You can uh, you can roll six d ten. Do that. Give him a little pit. I'm jealous. Uh, Thirty-five. Eight. Five. No cutie. No cutie. Well, no, oh, right, then there would oh, be right, ten. Right, right, three, it would five, be ten right, then. Right, right, ten. Right, 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 so right. It was a zero. It's eight. Yeah. So eight, ten. That's eighteen. And to twelve. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty. 30. 30. Uh, this counts as a one. Yep. It's a tens uh, column. Of course. <laughs> So, so 21. Uh, 20, yeah, 21. 21 gold. Okay. You find 21 gold. Um, Baradun, you, uh, let's see what is left to find with your... Um, I was pacing like fucking... Yeah. With your uh, <laughs> itchy feet as you're continually moving around. I walk back in, itchy feet. Yeah, what's up there? <laughs> you finally find the last things of what there is to find. A bag of holding. Oh, right. Recognized to be a bag of holding. Um, it seems to have been made out of human flesh, human oh, skin, flayed skin, Ooh. that has been tanned. You gonna keep it? Yep. Nice. Oh, what is this? Very nice bag made from human skin. Hello? Guys, I just got a bag of holding made of human skin. I love human skin. This is mine now. You've all found the gold, you found the gems. Uh, your little buddy comes back with that money and with a, b a bag of more of the incense and herbs. Oh, can, oh, I, 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 can I get Baradun to find, um, can I ask 
better known about the, or maybe I could even investigate, the Aquatic Armor. What, what's up with that? Sure, make an um, Arcana check, see if you recognise it. Um, I, you, who's yeah, I can do that. Things, arcana right? check. That's uh, actually two. I keep saying one. It's actually two. Uh, 13, 15. 15? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you would probably recognise at the very least a little of what it does. Um, let me double check what it does. It is called Mariner's Armour. Mariner's Armour. Mariner's Armour, yeah. Mariner's Armour. There it is. Mm. That sounds cool. Mm. It is... Uh, it let's see, what, how much of this would you know? It was a 15 total? Yeah. Yep. Um, you, you, you're familiar with it. You've seen adventurers use it on quests before. It gives you a swimming speed. Mm. Um, and... You probably don't know the other other thing it can do, but you, you know that speed. with an identifier you could probably work it out properly. Uh, but you know that it gives you a swimming speed when you're wearing it. I'll have a look later, but it looks like you can swim with it, Greg. Um, okay, cool. Do you want to look a little bit more now? Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, what, what are you doing things? Uh, am I am I your personal slave or something? Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I appreciate look, that. I, 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 look at you. You, just, you, look you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't get to any more. I'm, 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 I'm walking back and forth, being like, guys, am I am I some little magical slave to you? Guys. I basically won this for us. At least you could give. Wow. Oh, I've, I've, wow. I got one guy completely out uh, of the fight. Uh, uh, look, anyway. I almost died. Out of my nipple. Okay, hand it here. Yeah. And what? if you're lucky, you might get it back. What does this say? Uh, uh, can you please uh, identify it? Oh, armor on there. Uh, 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 Greg, Greg. Well, I'm actually God, guys, am I am I your personal servant or something? I just really quickly want to know what the stats. I don't just go identifying anything that anyone finds. I just want to know what it's called. I am not a conjurer. I am the high sorcerer. The stats are on it. Oh my God, you two are outrageous. Give me money. Give me Should money. I wear it? Give me money then. What will it look good no, with? Give me money. Actually, maybe I just take what that from you. What does it pair with? Yeah. Hmm. What's the size of it? Uh, this is, is a spell scroll. It is a third level spell scroll. Are you going to use a spell scroll? Maybe. <laughs> I mean, you can try. Like you. Uh, can, I, have, I have a you good old. Can... I have a good old look. Five, five plus two. <laughs> no, so you cannot work out what it is yet, but with some time, you could work out what spell it is. It's a spell scroll. Do, do you want it? Yeah. <laughs> you take it, you've got Put a third level, third level spell scroll. Do you have spell slot? Oh, no, right, you don't right need it. Right in your inventory. Uh, you've got third level spell scroll. So, how we don't know what the spell is, but it's a, 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 some Correct. sort of random third as well. Okay. Uh, I, I just take my little dude over here. <laughs> and I go, Stop all right. Nice. So. Toilet train him. He needs to be toilet trained. You're my little guy now? Is that, is that the thing? Yes. You right. summoned me. Yes, I did. What's your name? Good boy. What are you going to call him? Great. I'm not going to call you that. I'm going to call you... Dobby. I'm going to call me Clive. Cl Clive. 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 Okay. Clive. Yeah. Clive. Well, Clive, man. It's just as good as anything. Clive yeah. is. <laughs> All right, mate. Well, nice to meet you, Clive. Welcome to, welcome to the party, Clive. Welcome to the party. Yeah, I do. I got lads. Clive. Uh, Clive. Uh, uh, Clive. Um, I put. Yes. Is this is this potion maker going to be any useful beyond the fact that it had potion in it? The cauldron. Yeah. Try and take it with you if you want. It's I'm way too big. To, way too big to fit into the mouth of a bag of holding. Oh. It can well, walk. Right? Bag of holding. It can walk, right? Okay. So it can walk on its crab legs. Yeah, probably, probably not through swampy mud okay, and never stuff. Mind. And yeah. As you set off walking, being like, come on, follow I'm, me, I'm it doesn't do anything because you're not attuned to it. Yeah. I'm not a potion maker, screw it. If you, you'd have to attune to it. It's annoying me. And then, you'd, <laughs> and then it'd have to follow you, and it walks with like a 10 foot walking speed. So well, it would just uh, be annoying. Mm -hmm. So you have <laughs> so you've finished your, uh, your, your looting of the hag's house, everything of worth, it seems, you have in your pockets, uh, everything that it, you didn't manage to grab, the frogs have grabbed. S several of them are starting to like bloat up and, and like from touching items in the house that they probably <laughs> oh, shouldn't no. have touched. <laughs> oh, 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 oh no! Just, is like, oh, yep, yeah, uh, this is probably. We need to put some of them down. What you, can, <laughs> what you get for looting a hag's house full, full of items you shouldn't be touching. And as far as as so far as curses like, go, on my whole <laughs> plate, you can if you want. Yeah. No, maybe we should set the place on fire. I've got Poppy again. <laughs> you can see you can see now that the mist is cleared as well. You can see all the way to the shoreline around this particular lake, and you can see that the um, this guy is just kind of like hopping around <laughs> trying to find her. Just like not sure where he's. Ooh. Okay. She, oh, no, from no, his perspective, sorry, uh, she as, ran as we... she ran off and went come this way, and he was like yeah, and then she disappeared, and he's like where are we, where am I going? And as, and as we look at it in the distance, I just go. 
fireball. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna fireball him. No, not him. The house. Oh, the high house, right. I was gonna say, you're gonna start having a fight with him. <coughs> Let's just, yeah. You're come back we're, 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 not, we're still on the boardwalk. You're still though, on right? the boardwalk, yeah. So you get, you get back to the edge, you've, you've still got the lake Like to her house, house primarily. Yeah. I'm aiming at her house. Turn, you turn around, you fire enough away that it's not gonna bother. <laughs> And I don't trigger one. Do not trigger, so it's now a six? A five. Five? Oh, uh, no, it might be a six. No, yeah, might be six, no. six trigger now. So you're getting, you're burning through those spell slots. <laughs> Up goes the hag's house. <laughs> Just other items and accoutrement that hadn't um, been picked up by anyone <laughs> fire off and land in the swamps. <laughs> And now everyone yeah, will be safe yeah, in this area. You hear a screaming bullywug who is like still inside. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I've done a good thing today. <laughs> well. And you make your way to the edge of the boardwalk where you've initially burned yourselves. Right, boat. Onto it. Yeah, spend four hours making a boat. <laughs> Let's guys. go. We, we, we <laughs> did it once before, so we're super efficient at it. Super efficient. You know exactly what to do. Yeah. All right, we'll spend a few hours. All right. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you're exhausted. <laughs> yep. So. <laughs> So I'm going to say that you're not able to give him advantage on the check, so it's just going to be a straight roll from you. It's tinkering tools. You, you, you don't have to do the survival of finding wood, because there's plenty of board wood. Plenty of wood. Plenty of boards around. All right, come on, Greg! Four! Wait, how, how, how late in the, how late in the <laughs> afternoon is it? Have we, is it's it? like two in the afternoon, okay, maybe three so in the afternoon or something. Um, it's still light enough that you're not... Uh, yeah. I, was, I was trying to f f think if we could do a kind of, what is it, the duck, goat, yeah, mouse scenario. Oh, yeah. <laughs> people like with, like, with his bat can't and leave, your ring. And can't, leave, like. can't leave the closet with anyone but him because it's <laughs> a chaotic <laughs> demon evil yeah. thing and it'll eat you all. Okay, we need to get all of us across the lake. Now, Greg has the ring of water walking, Bob's able to fly, but no one wants to stay with his demon. Budge is a piece of shit, so no one will want to stay with him too long, and Greg is just, well, Greg's a little bit annoying. Okay, so how are we gonna get it, guys? Greg can walk by himself while Bob flies. Bob flies back with Greg to get Bodger. Bodger goes with Greg, but then Greg comes back with Bob to get me. Then I go with the demon, but then the fox will eat the grain, and the bunny will ride on the back of the fox, and then the turtle can go across with the rat. I think we've got it. Guys, I've got a plan! What were you guys saying? What, were we asking about the cauldron? Is that what you were just asking? No, 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 no. I was gonna say we should climb in the cauldron and I'll pull you along in the, <laughs> <laughs> in the rope. How big is Shall it? we push it into the <laughs> that, water and see if it floats? That's not the worst want. idea, okay. Let's try and push it into the water and see if it you, floats. You, I mean, how many people can we You push it, it and it's like the uh, Boston Dynamic Robots. You push it and its legs go <laughs> oh, that's underneath be frustrating. itself. You push it and it goes underneath itself. It's like not a sentient creature per se. But you still start feeling sorry for it. But you're eventually like, oh, it's got enough personality to it as you're kicking it. Yeah. It's like crab legs are going out, keeping it upright. Eventually you kick it close enough to the edge and then just pff, one last one and it goes whoosh, whoosh, it falls down hits the the swampy water and then whoop, 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 whoop. oh damn it oh, ah. you, you just murdered you just murdered <laughs> greg you just murdered uh, ha! Oh, damn it <laughs> worth a shot all right get back to building <laughs> back to building <laughs> tinkering away ow ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> with a four plus your tinkering tools though you've got uh it's going to be your Strength and your tinker's tools plus six minus one, so plus five, nine, nine below average. Still, uh, well, it's garbage. Let's be honest. <laughs> Come on, what are we? What are we I'm trying to, I was trying to show you code. <laughs> you rolled the four. Um, it's it's going to take you over an, over an hour to get something that's like decently like because it's not about the wood. It's about how you're nailing them together without yeah. nails. You're trying to, trying your best to lash them together. Yeah. What are the rest of you doing? You're trying your best to help him, but with exhaustion, it's not. Oh hard. God! I mean, I want to get out of here. You're so also I'm, exhausted. Want to help? So. I, 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 I almost died. I'm, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna like. Th there's because I just exploded the entire place. There's wood around, I guess. There's wood around. I'm gonna bring wood. I you guess can bring can. wood to help. Is Thank that, you. Can I, can I add any? Can you, can you yeah. add? Uh, I will say that with your help, you, you managed to get a decent workable raft in about an hour. So in that hour, what are you doing? <laughs> Anything? The, you've got a, you've got a new hanging out with this guy. demon. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, just so. hanging on your every word. I don't even know. I don't. You popped out of a brazier. And now you're mine. Yes. You're a father now. I, technically, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, That's I have great. a demon spawn. Mm, lovely. So. In that time as well, uh, having given t time to think about it, you've essentially taken 20 on the checking what this thing is. And it comes back to you that this thing is called a quasit. And it is quasit. one of the sort of entry level demons. When creatures are taken to the abyss and become demons, they, they come back as like fleshy mounds of nothing. And then eventually, when they are promoted, they become these things. Okay, a quasit. Very Is nice. it what? A quasit. A quasit. You know that they can shape change into bats and rats and centipedes? 
Man, he's perfect for you. He's just a little bob. Yeah, he's a little bob, isn't he? Little Maybe I should call him a little bob. It's not that confusing. That'll be confusing. That'll be confusing. Bob, big bob, little bob. Big bob, little bob. I think you're talking about your penis. <laughs> how's the boat? How's the boat coming along, Greg? <laughs> and that's why it'll be confusing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce Little Bob. Little Bob is like me, but smaller. Little Bob loves to jump inside things and explode. Little Bob is a slightly unusual shape, but that's all right. That's just the way God made him. Little Bob has a little gnarl and is a bit warty, but he's all good. Can you make uh, an investigation check, please? Thirteen. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, plus three, sixteen. Sixteen. In the hour that you're spending while Greg is finishing this little raft, um, you learn from this creature that uh, it has a telepathic ability with you, without you even having to turn on your telepathic Great. telepathy. Mm -hmm. um, and at one point, just like accidentally, almost, you just shut off your own uh, sight and hearing, and suddenly you're in his little body, looking around oh. and hearing through his ears. And you can see that his ears and eyes just they're, they're different to you they perceive the world differently but you can you can see through him like a little scout and then you pop back into your oh, own senses that's cool how tall is he how, how uh, he's about a foot tall foot tall he's tiny very, very small oh, they're little cutie. Oh, halfway up my little chin. cutie hey hey little, little cutie. cutie with your beady red eyes <laughs> and your vicious little mouth he's very asymmetrical it's kind of like his his body structure has got no order to it it's very chaotic he is yeah. the embodiment of chaos it's chaotic. You're so evil. difficult to look at. <laughs> I go, all right. You know what? I thought I was going to call you Clive. It doesn't fit. It doesn't suit you. It doesn't suit you. I'm, I'm going to call you. What's it? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Yep. Uh, no, his name isn't Little Bob. That's something else. His name. Uh, what's it? That's his name. That's his name's is what's it? Little Bob's taken. What? Oh, that's, that's fitting. I like that. Yeah, because I don't. I, you're a mess, mate. You got arms coming out your ribs. Your eyes are all wonky. What's it? What's what's it? What is it? I like you it. know what is it? Yeah, what's it? It's a what's, what's, it? what's it? It's a what's, what's it? it? It's a what's, what's it? it? All right, what's it? Jump on my back. Let's go. <laughs> it it scratches and claws. <laughs> Ow, 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 cancel that, cancel that, get off, get off, get off, get off, ow. He gets all the way up to your head, and you're like, no, 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 and he dives off again. It's like, it's like when a cat tries to crawl yeah. up and crawl up, you're like, ow, 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 my inner thigh, ow, ow. I thought that was going to be cute. Ow. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, we'll save that for sometimes. Ow, oh my god, oh, 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 your claws are like needles, ow, oh god, oh, oh, off, 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 ow, oh god, the inner thigh, oh, that's insensitive, me. oh. <laughs> You, 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 he uh, looks up at you. Did I hurt you? Are you right? No, 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 you're right, mate. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Oh, his body starts to stretch out and elongate, and other other legs and arms start to come out from his, uh, his center oh. at multiple areas all the way down. <laughs> and he shrinks him. down until he becomes a little centipede that crawls up your leg. Much less, uh, much less horrible, horrific. Like, until what? you've got like a, like a, a really large centipede about this long, sitting right. on your shoulder. Oh, so he's a good nice. shake shift. Nice. Okay. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, this time, morph into something less sharp, please. Right? Okay. Yeah. Up you get. Oh, that's better. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let's make that a rule, shall we? I give him a high five down each one. High 500. <laughs> that takes three hours. <laughs> what? It's the hour that it takes you. Yeah, people yeah. are just standing at there the watching end, me. At the end of which, after he goes down all the legs, you've made a raft. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> hey. I use my time well. <laughs> you turn on your water walking ring and step down into the squelchy mud. And, and them then on. you start dragging the raft along. Let's um, the raft. You all, <laughs> you all notice so as you're we approaching. We should have found that. Oh yeah. <laughs> so he's finished building. He finishes building the raft, and I'm like, "What about the lily pad? Should we just use that?" <laughs> this magical floating lily pad. I literally thought you guys asked about that before. That's so funny. You. Uh, well, we can't. We can't. Can. We can sit on it, and you could walk across and the water it, and drag yeah. it like a raft. 
Yeah. This is cool. All right, well, that building boat that. was pointless. Yeah. Let's do that instead. <laughs> All right, I mean, I've got my cool boat skills. <laughs> As you're we'll looking across towards the shore, uh, you can see that there's a couple of people coming down towards the shoreline. Mm -hmm. um, there's, uh, firstly, there's a very old dwarf. He's probably, well, stooped over with age. He's probably about four foot tall at most. And he is wearing, uh, he's wearing armor like a fighter, and he's got a long beard and, uh, and a walking cane. Relatively slow reactions and deliberate movements as he walks. And he's being followed by a younger woman, human woman, in clerical garb, who seems to be sort of keeping an eye on him, but uh, allowing him his independence at the same time, like making sure that he... No, he is she human keeping, or dwarf? Uh, so. Human, she, she is. Uh, it is these two people, this one and where is he? Where's the dwarf boy? Interesting. This guy and this lady. Hello, this guy and this lady. They make their way down to the, the shore, just as you arrive. And he, he says, in Scottish, he says, uh, uh, So, you're uh, in, in Scottish, uh, old man, but also Scottish. He says, Is it true then? You're of the mister of. Uh, this is really <laughs> yeah, nice today. Yeah, yeah. Old man and Scottish. Oh, Scottish, 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 Scottish. Old man, old man, Scottish. Old man, Scottish. Yes, that's, Scottish. I think I found it. That's yeah, it. That it's it's just very breathy and kind of constricted. Uh, so is it true you've you've uh, you've defeated Bavlona? I have. The mists have <laughs> the mists have gone. Finally. <laughs> well, I I, have the mists gone from the entire area? Have yeah. yeah, yeah. Well. That could only mean one thing. Is she actually gone? We. She is. He, he smushed her with a hammer. I can attest to that. She is. You guys, I'm letting go of the rope and it's just starting to drift. <laughs> it's just drifting in the direction it's going. Just. Like, oh shit! <laughs> no, I jump off. Quick, quick, quick. Kettle Steve's just like goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, who, we'll see where who this are you? Is. Who? Oh yeah. <laughs> The bird person. If she wasn't important for later, <laughs> I would just get rid of her. <laughs> I will say, actually, in that hour, <coughs> you uh, you have witnessed while you were making a um, uh, a raft, you witnessed kettle steam, and then green smoke starts to appear before her hands, oh. and she sends it off, and it seems to explode, eldritch blast like. Hey, oh. you, so, you, hey, look hey. at this! I can do it again. I and thought she, I thought Zalbino wasn't here. She tries it again. No, but she might have been imprisoned by some magic from the hangar. Okay, so it's not all of the things I've uh, I've got, but a lot of it is coming back. Uh, says, I can feel like I'm quite weak still, but I feel like some of it's coming back. Did I miss something here with the dual voices. Did I miss something? I must yeah, have missed that. I've she speaks missed. in other yeah. people's voices. Yeah, you know this whole character, yeah, it's how she talks all the time. Right, I've definitely she, missed that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much like the whole species, the whole thing, this whole vibe, this whole character in general. Man, all, all, you've just missed that, that's all. Uh, all that. <laughs> Sorry, uh, one question. Um, bird person, who are you? What, what are you doing here? Why have you been following us? Where did you come from? Why do you make s funny voices? Literally, what are you doing here? I love it so much because we had this exact interaction last table session. <laughs> just to be just, fair, it was like six months ago. Months ago. <laughs> it's yesterday, just really, yeah. it's, <laughs> used to that. it's just really funny to me. But yeah, their <laughs> whole species. You're all still so, dis, so distracted like about who the, uh, the fuck she is. Yeah. But yeah, she can only speak in things she's heard. Right. She's, like she's, she's a mimic. Like yeah. yeah. The radio oh. frequencies. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She can speak in radio. Um, so uh, yeah, radio. some of her radio. powers are coming back with the death of Bavlana. It cool. seems like maybe a third of the uh, things that were keeping Zybil. Oh, of course. Oh. That's uh, a weird maybe coincidence. Really weird. It's it's weird. There's three it's sisters. Like a, it's like a third of her powers have gone back weird. That's weird. That's weird. So she might be more useful. In <laughs> coincidence. It's one of those weird. <laughs> I mean, don't, don't think about it. Yeah, don't, don't, think don't think about look into it. Yeah. Um, so he, he says, God, I've got to find the voice again now, damn it. <laughs> Scottish, old man. So, uh, so you guys are adventurous, part, uh, real heroes. We are. That's I exactly mean, what I we mean, are. I think we might have... Adventurers? Yeah. We might have... Uh, We're friends. We might, we might have... Uh, uh, what's, what's your name? A mutual uh, benefit for each other then. Uh, my name's Elkhorn. And this is Mercian. She says, hello, I'm Mercian. Elkhorn, Mercy. Are you okay? She comes across to you. You still, Killer, on, gotcha. you're still on one hit point the whole time. But ah, <laughs> Mercy, oh my God. We always forget to heal people when they're on like one hit point. <laughs> well, you she don't have the ability to heal people. people. Oh, I, God, I've been basically waiting for the okay? chance to have a long list. Uh, yeah. let me, uh, I just, I mean, can you take me to a bed? 
by the light, please heal this man's wounds. And she runs her hand across your forehead, down, your, down oh. the side of your face. She's got a very uh, soft touch, very soft hands, um, and she heals you with a One. second... <laughs> <laughs> with a second level of your wounds. <laughs> I did get a two. And a one! <laughs> you, you're kind of, wow, you're kind of useless! Oh, she you're kind of shit. 60 points. Oh. Good old healers. I like how she, she comes over being like, yeah, with I'll With a second you. level spell. Just like, uh, I, I just scratch, scratch. scratch. Just, I kind of want to help, but also you're covered in blood. <laughs> Kill me. She comes over and just slaps you in the face. Yeah. Snap out of it! You get six slaps some of the blood off. Oh, I thanks. It hurts to exist. Oh wow, you don't look well at all. Yeah, no, I I, I need healing. Oh yes, it's, can my, you? My healing is uh, sort of hands on. Yeah, 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 go for it. But you're covered in blood and mud and and gore and guts. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Let's swamp materials and. Heal away! Okay, um, I, I'll just... Oh, come uh, on! Just, I'll it just hurts to breathe and live! Maybe just, maybe just here. Is, it... <laughs> Is that better? Not really! Well, you, you'll survive. Wow, you're worse than me! <laughs> I mean, she just gave you sex top of what you were on, so... Um, she says, yes, I, I'm, I'm Mercian. Uh, I'm a cleric, a follower of the light. Um, this is Elkhorn, uh, fighter. We, we, between us, are part of... Uh, two, two of the members of Valor's Call, uh, a, a collection of adventurers just working to fight evil. Mm. And what are you doing down here in Elwellyn? We were coming to uh, have words with Bavlona. You're going to talk to her or fight her? Hopefully talk. Oh. Um, she can be reasonable if you are willing to give <laughs> up certain things. <laughs> or she could, anyway. Mm. I suppose mm. she can be talked about in the past tense now, which will be the ultimate insult yeah. to her injury. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Present, the yeah. irony is kind of that's, that's, that's the joke. I'm glad you're all on the same page. Yeah. That's, that's what I just that's, said. That's, that's the joke. <laughs> that's right? I get yeah, that. I see what you're saying with yeah. the joke because she always was about the present. Yeah. yeah. And now, it's and now product, she's in the past. Yeah. Do you, yeah. Yeah. Roger, do you get it as well? <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> I don't get it! Kettle, kettle steam to Oh, kettle steam. Well, what he was saying <laughs> yeah. is that because uh, the hag we fought was she really was from the present. Yeah. Yeah. Three three I was joking, you fool. Of course I got it. Okay. Right, okay. Right. okay. So, anyway, good joke. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, we are particularly hurt. Uh, seems, that was a difficult battle with her. Uh, yeah, it seems that you'll, you'll need a place to sleep. We've, we've got a, a place that's fairly safe nearby. Um, yes, where please! Are you, where are you heading from here? Are you, are you tackling all of them? That is actually old, a old good question. Oh, God. I've, I've got motivation to go back to home. Well, yeah. we are from northern Azerum. Days, weeks, kind of potentially months walk from here. Oh, not 20. Hey, Azerum. <laughs> I haven't been there in a long time. I was actually born up in uh, Dead Frost. Made my way down to Ewellyn. Many years ago. You are very far from home. Oh, yes. Hey, hey yes. Yeah, too. Better pla <laughs> places for. Uh, I follow wherever the evil takes me. Mm. So, um, you're heading all the way back up there? Uh, well, we want to go home, yes. <laughs> you're going to have a hard time of it, I'm afraid. Yeah, there's no one lives Ewellyn. No one leaves Ewellyn. Why does no one leave Ewellyn? You know, the mist walls around the whole place. No. Yeah. Do, well, I, do I remember the mythical realm? A couple of times I, I said it took two days before you even encountered the hare people, the rabbit people. Yeah. In those two days, uh, I said you walked into mist and just came back out the way you oh, came yeah. in. Okay. Uh, that yeah. was the mist wall. Oh. And do it's, I remember uh, if this is something about Ewelyn or something uh, no. about this area? Something about this. Oh, something about this. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, new to Ewelyn since you were last here on a quest. Uh, ever since the hags moved in, right, they sort of locked the off the whole thing. They oh. trapped, trapped Zybilna in their own palace of heart's desire. And uh, they don't allow anyone to. Roger, what, exit. what's going wrong? I just feel motivated to kill <laughs> two hags now. No. Hey. Oh, oh, I've just met it? him and I'm willing to die for him. <laughs> you all level up. There are mushrooms. There are singing mushrooms by your feet. Here one. I'm eating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hear it screaming as it goes down my throat. Do you guys want to help us get a better studio space than this? Then go check out our Kickstarter. We're going to be building a whole D&D set specially for this show. We can shoot a whole lot more. Uh, a new campaign. Check it out. Kickstarter. Viva La Dirt League. The Great Expansion.